Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Boss Mac. I'm back to gaming.com. Back again with another motherboard unboxing and overview. This time around we have the Biostar Racing B B250 B250 GT5. GT5. I'm sorry my tongue is not working. It is the Biostar Racing B250 GT5. All right. And here we are. First off, let's take a look at the packaging. We have the carbon fiber 3 pin and the motherboard this is a full color printed motherboard I mean printed box so the racing uh, inspired design right there we have the B250 GT5 model name right here B250 GT5 B250 GT5 B250 GT5 B250 GT5 and all of that right I'm going right back oh by the way I haven't mentioned this has a limited offer so basically uh, an explanation this is a if you are playing in the Asia server of uh, World of Tanks you will get uh, some premium items so uh, this has been going on for quite a while, while right now they have been offering premium items uh, it is indicated in this URL right here I will link that in the written review in the description basically it's like you get an exclusive tank uh, some gold some other premium items but it's time limited so you cannot uh, I mean you cannot just redeem it and just expect to see it again be logging like one year later anyways moving right along at the back we have features right there gigabit LAN this one uses i219v uh, Ethernet from Intel we have the vivid led, vivid led DJ we have uh, uh, PCIe M2 slot support dual bias uh, one cool thing about the dual bias for by star they're actually using a manual uh, manual switch you to toggle the bias in use so I don't know if you can read that right there so moving right along we have the 50 50 lead fun so who comes up with this name seriously by star come on and we have the GT touch basically that's their touch interface for the motherboard onboard buttons and we have the layout of the motherboard right here as well as the IO ports at the back so that is it for the box and I will move the motherboard for now so we can check out the content and we open this up and everything is right there so for our unboxing we start off with the RGB header included package and we have the one two and three and four SATA cables right there included in the package of the B250 GT5 we have the IO shield pretty plain stuff nothing special we have the installation disk right here drivers and software we have the manual always read your manual boys and we have a vivid led fan from Biostar they actually shipped this before with a separate box but they are now like putting a compartment dedicated for it for it right there so this is an RGB controlled uh, fan the lighting is on RGB and you can hook it up to your RGB uh, cable with this header right here so this is controllable by the RGB software which is the uh, Biostar Vivid LED DJ software which is included in the Racing GT utility software we'll talk about that more in the written review so moving right along let's get our motherboard back here in the spotlight so there it is so no more palm in your face action so here we have it I know you guys can see that and yeah so if you've seen our review of the Bystar uh, C170 GT7 racing series from before basically everything right here is the same we have the racing inspired team going on we have the checkered flag modem on the printed on the PCB we have carbon fiber in the heat sink and the actual higher models will feature more design so for this particular one there's not much uh styling so moving moving right along let's go uh let's check out the motherboard so it's done in black so very good touch right there so most of the high-end models right now they've been doing them uh, in black because i kept complaining before that i hate brown PCB not that it's bad but they keep uh, dodging like they were using a black dark 
PCB and then you end up receiving a brown one so with this one it's actually done in black so very nice evolution right there and by star has been stepping up their game lately so it's cool that they retained uh, the build quality on the newer model so going back we have the BRM area right here the heatsink is only in the side so this one is exposed and we have the fan headers right here as well as the RGB header right there and then if you can see that focus right there so moving right along we have four dim slots so being this is a B250 motherboard so the difference between let me just explain this uh, really fast not too technical the B250 has uh, less features than C270 motherboards basically it does uh, reduce features because of the uh, details uh, that will I'll include the uh, technical details in our chipset breakdown in the written review basically this has less features so the B250 the B designation is actually meant for business but it has uh, I mean it has lost that kind of treatment uh, because of motherboard vendors actually using it for uh, lighter models like uh, there is support for Intel small business and this motherboard but most like as you can see right here this is the uh, racing series which is definitely aimed for enthusiasts and gamers so it has that feature but it kind of get lost with how motherboard makers use them so this may not be uh, this may not be used for your business but it's definitely not that high end so it's enough for users that just want a single GPU and stuff like that so moving right back there is no uh, XMP support so these the motherboard natively supports uh, DDR4 1866, uh, 2133, and 2400 memory. So put this pop in right there. Uh, if you have um, uh, DDR4 XMP memory, they will work fine, but they will not be working for the rated speed. This motherboard does have some level of manual control for your memory speeds. You can just tweak it to reach certain speeds, but. Uh, it does require some know-how so moving right along we have the uh, GT touch area right there okay so you can set profiles for the echo button and the sport button basically the sport button is the uh, the performance mode and the echo is like yeah typical uh, power saving mode and there is a reset and power button right there so this iron tactile they're just like yeah that's the the name suggests they are touch button so I don't know how that works but they are not tactile buttons you won't feel anything when you press on them so yet yeah, uh, magic it's supposed to be magic <laughs> anyways moving right along we have SATA ports right here so one two three four and six SATA ports in total we have the actual bias chip right here so being dual bias there is the switch that I've mentioned before so when one of these break down you can just switch it over and this one should work yeah if you just have a bias corruption just switch it to the other side and the other side the other chip the bias chip will take over and should take care of your problem because it will copy itself in this one if you really end up with a broken chip you can contact bias star and they will like uh, fix your motherboard if you're under RMA but uh, that's really real, uh, rare it doesn't really happen that often anyways we have fan headers right here we have the M2 slot uh, front panel headers right here another 5050 RGB header header light right there more IO over here we have legacy PCI slot so there there isn't a lot of people I know that use these but if you got like older uh, legacy applications like mm, older sound cards older uh, older daughter cards that you may need to work with uh, yeah, you can pop them right there. So these has two X16 PCIe X16 sl slots and two X1 slots. So yeah, as I mentioned, there is there is some limitation in this motherboard. So as you can see, there is no AMD Crossfire or NVIDIA SLI logo in the motherboard or in the packaging because this is dedicated only for single card use. Look, you can use, uh, I mean, you can pop into cards, but don't expect any kind of multi GPU GPU like. They will work together because it doesn't do that so yeah you can pop in your card right here the like single 1080 single 1070 single rx 480 it will work it'll work fine 
but yeah, no official support for multi GP GPU configuration. So moving right along, we have the there's a chip right there, Super LAN surge protection. So this has been like one of Bystar's uh, heavily promoted feature. So basically, just fil uh, I mean filters like electrical surges. So just lightning happens to strike your antenna, ends up in your router, and then to your through your motherboard for s I don't know how, but yeah, it will, it will supposedly protect you. So yeah, moving right along, it's connected to an Intel i219V, one gigabit uh, uh, Ethernet port. So yeah, let's move on. Oh, by the way, we have the audio area right here. So typical uh, PCB isolation with the uh, lighting grid right there. Yeah, so we got light LEDs right there, right there. So yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, we'll show photos in the written review, but in this one, the PCH heatsink, the heatsink, this doesn't light up. Only this area lights up. Uh, yeah, this end and this end. So as you can see, there's cable right there. So going back, this uses an ALC to the going back to the audio area. This using an ALC 892 audio solution. So really old audio solution. It's enough for some people. I'm not really too fond of older solution because I did, I highly prefer an odd dedicated audio chip. My star does have like some augmentation on this one. So they're using like uh, better chips. I mean better capacitors to like deliver. Uh, better uh, audio experience but overall the chip itself it's not that uh, great anymore there's newer audio solutions so if you're, you're particular about audio you can just uh, get a, an X1 PCI daughter card audio solution right there and just pop it right there and for everyone else like if you just if you just want a PC and you're starting out this would do this would be just fine yeah and yeah we move on to the Rear I.O. ports right there, we have Legacy PS2, USB 2 right there, VGA, DVI, HDMI, and USB Type-A and Type-C. Wait up, I have to confirm if these are 3.1, and it doesn't, let me confirm, yes, it is USB 3.0, it is USB 3.0 Type-A and Type-C right there. So, and we have the Intel uh, gigabit port right here and uh, your audio connectors. So I think that is it for the motherboard and it looks great. It's not a uh, revolution from the older racing motherboard. It still retain, retains the same level of quality. Like it's not as heavy as the more modern motherboards you would get from the big name brands. But by star being who they are, this is a great balance. I think this one, I haven't checked the pricing yet. This is, but yeah, this is supposedly under, like, definitely under uh, the C270 more mainstream pricing. So, I'll, yeah, I'll link those in the, I'll link the pricing in the description and the written review. And yeah, that is it for the Bystar B250 GT5 motherboard. Really great looking board, but yeah, it, if if you really want a more mainstream board, I suggest the lower end uh, C270. Otherwise, if you just want a uh, a step up from the more generic B250 uh, H270 motherboards, it's definitely uh, something to consider. Anyways, yeah, this has been your boy Boss Mac. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to like the video, comment the video, and subscribe. Peace.